What we're seeing at the moment is that across the public sector, workers are starting to demand better treatment, and at the same time, the government is trying to cut back on services. Uh, public sector jobs and public services are one of the areas where workers' rights and um, the needs of the general public are basically one and the same. Um, the bus service is the um, ideal case to show why privatisation just won't work. And that's what this is all about. They want to destroy the public transport company, hand it over to uh, the private companies, and it's as you can only look at the UK, but it's evident now the results of privatisation in the UK, where the bus service and railway service are absolutely chaotic. Um, accidents happening on a fairly regular basis due to the cutbacks, lack of staff. Um, and the same thing is going to happen here in this country. Here in support of the bus air and walk down and bus air and that, be, if bus air and collapse, it'll be a devastating effect in rural areas. And the, uh, not just Kells, but the small towns around Kells. We know that if this occurs, that the profitable uh, runs will continue, but the unprofitable ones will be left. And people in areas like Old Castle and Baylor and that will lose out on that. So I think it's important, not just for us, but the whole infrastructure of the rural community. The NTA was set up in 2008. And it's, it's hidden agenda was to privatise the whole uh, public transport system, starting with the provincial buses. And um, that's basically what's happening today. There are um, routes being given out to private operators who operate more or less non stop, who don't take social welfare classes, who pay their staff a call in as little as 450 euro a week for 600. 65 hours a week in some cases. We have an excellent bus service in this country which serves communities where we it wouldn't be right to demand that profit is made. Um, small towns with one or two people using a bus is their only way of getting to and from um, shops, to and from schools and things like that. And if those services are privatised, people in those small towns will lose out and at the same time workers' conditions and pay will go down. Um, so what we're doing is we're highlighting that to users of Bus Air and also to the workers themselves just to let them know that we absolutely absolutely support the action that they've agreed to take and decided is necessary at this stage. So we're campaigning to keep us in under public ownership, to deliver the social service to the people of this country as it has been doing for many years and we will fight to to keep that.